Hey guys, I'm Wyatt Miller. I'm Slingshot's brand manager for windsurfing and wing surfing. And I'm here to talk about the difference between the Slingwing V2 that we all know and love and the new Dart. The new Dart is no secret. The Spencer brothers invented the backflip on it, kind of shook up the whole wing surfing world with that. And so I've been getting a ton of questions recently about people asking, well, is this new Dart coming out going to make the V2 obsolete? And the answer is absolutely not. As you can see from the two profiles here, they're two completely different wings and they're designed for two completely different user bases. The Slingwing V2 excels at going upwind with its small LE that penetrates into the wind and it excels at riding downwind and disappearing behind you as you luff and connect swell to swell. The small LE and the really tight leech here I mean, it's a really well-behaved wing that slips through the wind easily as you hold that leading edge handle and just focus on riding swell downwind. This is it's just a well-behaved wing. It's perfect for beginners. It's my absolute choice if I'm going to do downwinders with friends or I'm trying to ride waves and just focus on my wave riding while I hold this LE. It slips through the wind and disappears behind me completely. It's always perfectly within reach. It doesn't have any oscillation. In short, it's just a well-behaved wing designed for riding upwind efficiently and then being able to luff the wing and ride from swell to swell downwind. That's what it excels at. Because it has such a small LE, you sacrifice some low end and you sacrifice you know, some overpowered riding. It's it's the exact opposite of this new Slingshot Dart. So the Slingshot Dart has this massive LE and a big strut and a really loose billowy leech, kind of like an old school hang glider. So the Dart is made for speed, power, acceleration, and insane loft in jumps. You know, you see the Spencer Brothers boosting to the moon, doing backflips on it. It's got an incredible incredibly pinched and short wingspan, which make it really good for freestyle, for backwinded riding, for 360s, for backflips. The first time I ever rode the dart, it scared me actually. I did this big jump, you know, it was pretty windy, and I just hung up there, and I didn't drop, and kind of just stopped in midair, threw off my whole jump, and I was just almost wanted to kick the board off my feet, because I was just not prepared for the differential pressure over this big leading edge provides so much loft in the jumps that you jump up there and you just stop and hang and don't fall for a while. Um, it's got this huge differential pressure there. The other thing it has is most wings that are the shape, you know, more similar to this V2, if they have a huge leading edge like this, then you've got a ton of wind resistance going through the air. If you see how raked back these wingtips are, think supersonic fighter jet. They're going to take off with the wingtips out, and then as they move to hypersonic speed, those wings fold in and get narrower. That's exactly what you have here with these wingtips that pinch in. Instead of having this big LE exposed to the wind and slowing you down and creating drag, they're raked back like crazy so that Although you have a huge LE, because of the rake, not much of it is actually exposed to the wind, which give it insane acceleration and incredibly high top end speed. Normally a big LE like this, if it was in the shape of a V2, would give you tons of drag and make for a slow wing. Because they rake back like a fighter jet, the top end speed is just kind of limitless with this thing. Uh, the other thing is that helps with the jumping is that big billow in the trailing edge that fills with wind and creates a ton of forward pull in the wing and gives you that burst of top end speed. You feel like you can just push this wing faster and faster. The downsides of the dart are this ton of dihedral will make it kind of always want to sit to one side or the other. So it's not the most well behaved wing. It sometimes wants to flip over when it's laying in the water and you're not holding it. But another thing that this rake back wingtip does is it actually allows me to water start. If I'm laying in the water, 
because it's so right back, I can actually put it that that leading edge in the water just like that and it rests there. Gives me a pivot point where that second half will help pull me out of the water to pull off a water start, even on a medium sized board. So just looking at them, you can see that they're two completely different wings and two completely different design concepts. One, the Slingwing V2 is made for drifting downwind, connecting from swell to swell, really being very well behaved in one line flight. The V2 is pure raw speed, power, and jumping. Sorry, the Dart is pure speed and jumping. They're both amazing wings, two totally different user bases. The Dart is not your first wing, the Dart is your second wing. It's for powered up riding, huge jumping, freestyle tricks, and backflips. The V2, the tried and true, is for riding downwind, getting upwind easily, and just having a nice, well-behaved wing that disappears behind you when you're lucky.